here's an in-depth tutorial on how to award XP inside your very own maps. In this video, we're going to cover how the device works, how to set it up, and in-game examples on how to create XP challenges. And lastly, we're going to talk about best practices with this device, including how to not get your map banned. You're going to want to make sure you do not miss that one. Trust me. All right, let's go. So real quick, the Accolade device allows creators to design achievements or accomplishments that players can complete to earn Battle Pass XP while playing your maps. The device memory for this is only 88 for the first instance, and every Accolade device after that is only 8 memory. That's actually really, really low. I do want to note real quick that there is a max of 30 Accolade devices in one map. All right, let me show you guys how to set it up. Now, the Accolade device doesn't work just by itself. It needs to be attached basically to another device. For the first XP example, I'm gonna actually show you how to set up granting XP per elimination. This actually only takes a total of two devices to make this work, the accolade device and the team settings and inventory spawner. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our inventory and grab the team settings and inventory spawn pad. We're gonna place it down. I want you guys to interact with this device. Make sure you are on all options and go all the way to the bottom. Now, find win enemy eliminated by team member transmit on. Set it to whatever free channel you have. I'm just gonna use one. Now next, let's go grab the accolade device. Now place it down and interact with it. Again, make sure you're on all settings tab. All right, let's start setting up our first accolade device. The first thing you're going to want to do is enter your name. I'm sure if you played BR or other creative maps that have XP enabled, after you complete a challenge, right in the middle of your screen, kind of next to the crosshairs, you're going to see some text and then the amount of XP granted. That is where this shows up at. So since we're granting this for eliminations, we're going to write eliminations. FYI, you can use emojis here as well. Next up, we're going to add our description. Now, this will actually show up after the XP award was granted in the bottom middle of the screen. After you write your description, now we're actually going to decide what the XP award amount is. We cannot actually select an amount, but we can select a weight. Let me explain how this works. Basically, different amounts are granted depending on a set of criteria. This happens all in the background and is not something we can customize. The amount of XP granted is based on how many accolade devices you have on your island, plus how frequently an accolade is awarded. High frequency accolade result in a much smaller XP amount and then low frequency accolades result in higher XP amount. So basically, since we are granting XP for eliminations, we are actually going to set this to very small because this is going to be awarded a lot. Even if we set this to very large, which I do not recommend because this could actually slow down the calibration process or even get XP denied in your map. So you definitely want to be very careful on what setting you choose. No matter what denomination you actually enter here, the game game sees it getting triggered a lot, it's going to drastically change the amount of XP. So make sure you just keep that in mind. The next setting is enabled during phase. This is very standard on a lot of devices. It's the usual stuff. You can keep it on gameplay, honestly. The next setting is triggering player only. Now this is kind of important depending on what your accolade is. For this instance, we're going to actually set this to yes, because we just want the player that got the elimination to get XP. Now say you have a team game mode or a team objective type game mode, then you're going to probably want to keep this to no, but you're going to want to specify which team or what class can actually receive it. Let's just say, for instance, team one plants a bomb, diffuse a bomb, whatever. If you have that set up here, then just that team would get the XP. Now, lastly, we need to attach this to a device. Now, again, we are doing elimination, so we're going to attach this to the team sitting and in inventory spawn pad, which we have set to channel one. All right, go back to your accolade device and interact with it. Now, if you want to get to your channels only settings real quick, you can click this little tab here and under award when receiving from put the channel you have free we're using channel one now the rest of the channels are pretty self-explanatory if you want to enable disable and lastly we have would have awarded transmit on this is just for testing you can hook this up to a hud to see if it's working stuff like that but we're not going to use that for right now and there you have it guys we've actually set up our first xp award every time someone gets an elimination they should receive some xp now let's set up our next accolade xp award which is going to be for playtime. all right first thing we're going to do is go into our inventory and grab a tracker device all right place it down and interact with it make sure you're under all options now under stat to track i want you guys to find play minutes elapsed the next setting is reset between rounds you're going to want to set this to no 
Now target value, this is basically just how many minutes you want a player to have to play in your map to be granted XP. We're gonna set it to like 25 minutes. And then make sure assign on game start and assign when joining is set to yes. You're also going to want to make sure sharing is set to individual and leave the rest of these settings alone. Now scroll on down. The next setting we're going to talk about is show on HUD. Now we have a few different options. This is basically just if you want this challenge to be shown on a player's HUD. And we basically just have four options. We can choose not to have it shown at all. We can have it either shown on the top left with a little more information. You can pick to just have it as a list, which will be in the right of your screen for this to show up you will have to go into your settings under user interface and under hud info type you're going to find tracker you can choose unranked or ranked it's really not going to matter for this now interact with your tracker again and for this instance i want it to show in the left and the right side so i'm just going to select both now move on down to tracker title we're going to call this play 25 minutes to be awarded XP. Perfect. Description text, that's up to you. I'm not gonna add it for this, but you can. Now, if you want it to show how many minutes have been played, you're gonna wanna keep this to total. And the rest of these settings, honestly, we're not gonna need to touch. We're gonna be able to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and find win complete, transmit on, set this to a free channel. We're gonna set this to channel two. All right, we're almost done. We just need to grab an accolade device. Place down the accolade device and interact with it. Now the name again, played 25 minutes, XP awarded. For description, have fun. Make it cool, make it a lot better than what I'm saying. Um, Award type, now XP award, I actually think 25 minutes is a long time. So I'm gonna actually leave this at medium. We're gonna make sure it's triggering player is set to yes. We're gonna leave all the other settings alone and then make sure award when receiving from is set to the exact same channel as you've put when completed transmit on on that tracker device. So we set up two, we're gonna award on two. And now we have playtime awards set up for XP in our maps. All right, lastly guys, I'm gonna show you how to grant XP P from collectibles. Now go into your inventory under devices, search for collectibles, place them down. Now you will see you have a bunch of options, pick whatever fits your map. We'll just use the coin for now, place it down and interact. Make sure you're under all options. Now, if you want it to grant score, that's going to be up to you. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to keep that to zero. I'm going to keep ambient noise on. We want anyone to be able to collect this for what we're setting up. Now, depending on what your challenge is, you're going to want to change consume if collected by to either self or anyone. Basically, what the difference is, if you want multiple people inside the map to be able to collect this, you want to keep this to self. But if you just want this to be collected once for the first player to collect it, you're going to want to keep this to anyone. But for this example, I'm actually going to keep this on self. Under visible to opposing team, you want to make this option until collected. The rest of the options are going to be totally up to you, but go to the very bottom when, when you see win collected transmit on, pick a free channel you have. For this instance, we're going to select channel three. Press OK. We are almost done, you guys. We just got to grab the accolade device again. Place it down and interact with it. We're going to name this collect coins. The description again up to you. Now, XP award. If there's going to be a bunch of these, like it's a death run and at the end of each section, you grant them a coin, you're going to probably want to set this up to very small. But if you're going to set this to only that first time instance where only one person is going to be able to collect this, you might want to make this large or even very large. Again, enable during phase. We'll keep that the gameplay and triggering player. We're going to make sure that is set to yes. Come on down here in award room receiving from. We're going to set this up to channel three. And there you have it. We just set up three xp challenges it's really simple and if you guys have any questions on this make sure you ask in the comments now publish your map to discovery and the waiting begins when you publish your island it will need to go through a calibration process it will evaluate how often players receive each accolade compared to how long they play during the initial calibration period players can only earn playtime xp because the calibration process needs to gather data the length of the initial calibration period is dependent on the amount of engagement that 
that a map gets during that period. So this time is going to vary from map to map, basically depending on how popular it is. You should be notified through email whenever there is a key event in the game's calibration. These key events include the start of the initial calibration, initial calibration warning, initial calibration pass, initial calibration failed, and then post calibration failure. But at the current time as I'm recording this video, calibration email notifications are not working, but this should be resolved soon. Now, since the email notifications aren't currently working, the only way to know that XP is live in your map is to go into discovery under your recently played or search for your map code. And below the title, there'll be a little purple XP icon. And if you see that, then your map is good to go. Now for best practices, I strongly suggest you do not try and abuse XP. From the accolade Q&A in the creative discord, they actually said that they will get notifications for excessive XP. They actually haven't come out and outright said this, but if you actually abuse XP, at the very least, your map's not going to be able to have XP enabled. Maybe your map will actually get removed or worst case, maybe you'll lose your supporter creator. Who knows? But honestly, I wouldn't mess around. It is not worth it is even if your map does gain a little success from it, your playtime is going to drastically go down and there will be no chance for you to start trending in discovery. It's not smart at all. And lastly, if you actually care about your career as a creator, you definitely want to stay away from any drama, especially with exploits or cheating of any sort. So please just keep all of that in mind. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Below in the description, I'm going to have a few links for you guys. I'll have the creative documentation on Accolade device and you guys can even learn more about the device. I will also leave a link where you can actually submit your map for discovery if you're brand new. That's going to do it for today's video guys. I'm Immature Gamer and I'm out.